Hi, this is Mary from Homegrown Learners, and I have created this video for you to hopefully assist you in instructing your students with the tin whistle. Now, if you visit the blog post that is linked uh, in the comments section of this video, you will see that I have included a um, 10 commandments of the tin whistle printable. I would suggest that you introduce this little um, printable of the Ten Commandments first with your students so that you can maintain some classroom control because in my experience um, success in the tin whistle or even if you're maybe teaching the recorder is about 75 percent classroom management with the instrument and 25 uh, percent whatever else. So hopefully you've been able to download this little printable, the Ten Commandments of the Tin Whistle, and we'll go through them very quickly. Number one, thou shalt not play thy tin whistle while thy tutor is speaking. Self-explanatory. Two, thou shalt always place thy left hand on the top. That's a biggie. You know, our kids forget that the left hand always goes on the top, and I'll have a song for you in a second that will help teach you that. Third, Thou shalt play thy tin whistle with whisper air. What I would always tell my students would be, if you are blowing out a hundred candles on a birthday cake, you are going to give it a lot of air. You're going to go, <sighs> right? But when you play the tin whistle, you're just going to play with whisper air, like you're maybe blowing out one candle on your dining room table. So you will go, and when you play the tin whistle, It's like you're whispering. So that's a very important commandment. Use whisper air. Number four, thou shalt not create discord or cause cacophony. Hopefully this will get those um, two terms of the grammar in their heads. Thou shalt not use thy tin whistle as a weapon, if you have boys. Thou shalt not purposefully annoy thy family with thy tin whistle. Thou shalt ask thy mother or father permission to play thy tin whistle in the house. Thou shalt remember to check for Cheerios. Let me show you what Cheerios are. If you have your student put down every finger over the holes, make sure they're covered and have them check, and you press as hard as you possibly can. Maybe have them press like that for almost 30 seconds, as hard as they can. Then, when they lift their fingers up, they should have little Cheerios on their fingers that will look like that. You see those? So, always checking for Cheerios. Thou shalt use thy tin whistle chart faithfully, and that's the tin whistle chart that's found in the Foundation's Guide, and thou shalt practice thy tin whistle daily. So again, you can download those from my blog. Let's see. Um, next, I wanted to teach you a little song about the tin whistle that teaches us all the parts of it. It's called, Oh, Do You Know the Tin Whistle? And I'll go ahead and sing it for you. Oh, do you know the tin whistle, the tin whistle, the tin whistle? Do you know the tin whistle? These are its parts. Barrel, fipple, mouthpiece, finger holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, left hand on top. Oh, do you know the tin whistle, the tin whistle, the tin whistle? Do you know the tin whistle? These are its parts. Barrel, fipple, mouthpiece, finger holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, left hand on top. Hopefully that song will also help you um, to teach them some of the grammar. Now, one other thing that I wanted to show you is I will just have a very simple staff to show the children. And, you know, we want them to know that music is written on a staff and that a staff has five lines and four spaces. But sometimes children might be confused. They will think that it's like, if you're writing your name on the top line of a piece of paper, well, that's line one. But that's not the way it is on a staff. Line one is at the bottom. So I teach them a very simple song about the staff and I have them put up their finger staff. 
and we sing. There is a staff that has five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And on these lines we put the notes. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Let's count them one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Similarly, you can do the same song with spaces. There is a staff that has four spaces. One, two, three, four. And in these spaces we put the notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Let's count them once more. One, two, three, and four. And that's about as far as I'll go with it. Um, prior to my CC days, I would have gotten a lot more elaborate, but we want to keep things very stick in the sand. So hopefully, the Ten Commandments of the Tin Whistle and the parts of the Tin Whistle song and the song to teach the children the staff um, will be enough to get you going, at least for week one. But hopefully you can keep using these practices for the next several weeks as we learn about the tin whistle. Again, remember to visit my blog post that's in the comments of this video, and you can get the free printable and some more tips for playing the tin whistle. Thanks so much.